Hi guys, Rich Bassini from RJBassini.com coming to you today to do a demo on this camera. It's the Sony Digital CyberShot here. It's um, it's the model. It's the same exact one I use. Right? You think I know DSC S75? It's the same camera I use to take all my pictures, my you know my digital photos. Everything you see that's on uh, eBay right now is taken with this camera. However, this is a pre-owned. Mine I purchased was brand new. So for those coming to the first time, uh, in this particular case, the uh, YouTube channel, of course, but also this is going to be uh, embedded with the uh, eBay listing. Uh, my name is Rich Bassin from RJBassin.com. I do uh, sneak peek videos, intro videos, and demo videos. And this one's going to be a demo video. And I like to do is just in case you don't know, you know, if you're not familiar with my videos. I like to talk about the condition of the item and uh, I talk about you know its characteristics or what's wrong with it, if it's got any flaws, defects and so on and so forth and it's to enhance you the potential eBay buyers. That's why I do these videos and that's why I go out of my way to make sure that um, I'm giving you the best service by uh, you know doing these videos for you guys. So anyway without further ado um, I want to talk a little about this camera. This is a pre-owned camera of course and what you see in the picture there is what you're getting. Um, I don't like to, uh, you know, I had an experience once before where I had something laid out on my display board and it was there, left out there accidentally. And um, when I upload the listing, uh, I guess I wasn't paying attention at the time, the buyer thought they were getting an item with it. I forget what it was offhand. I don't know if it was another camera or whatever. And I had to clarify it and, you know, make sure that uh, they weren't, you know, that what they were get what they see in the picture was not exactly what they were getting. Uh, needless to say, the buyer understood and you know uh, accepted my apologies that it was a photo shot that was taken in error with that particular item and it wasn't supposed to be included in there. But what you see here now is what you are getting. Okay. Um, normally, <clears throat> when I picked up this here, I picked this up at the first store. Uh, the te the camera has been tested and it works out, works fine. Um, the only characteristics I have to say with as far as like uh, any flaws with it, it's the back screen here, you can't see it, but the back screen has some scrap, scuff marks on it. But when I turn it on, you'll see, if you can see it without the glare, you'll see that everything's going to, uh, you know, that'll work good. It doesn't affect the viewing whatsoever. Um, let's see if I can get a picture over here. Let's move around here and see what we got. This is, and also, um, there's no, well, just to give you a heads up on that too, Going forward, there is no uh, original packaging with this unit. There is no user manuals with it, any software or any cables with it, or, and in this particular case, the lens cap is gone. <clears throat> this is how I picked it up, folks. I'm sorry, not I normally wouldn't pick up something like this, but being I know the camera, I, I thought, you know, let me try it out. Sony's a good made camera. I mean, I love it. I love mine. Uh, I have mine right over here, and I'll show you in a second that it's the same one I use. Uh, the only thing that's different here is the party who had this here took off all the uh, little stickers on I left the stickers on mine. Um, and there's no memory card that comes with it. So I'm going to show you what the card you would have to get. Uh, the cables that you need for it, um, they're USB cables. I can't give you one, but you could probably pick one up. If I do come across one, I'd be more than happy to give you one with it if I, between now and then. But I can't say for sure I have one for you. So I really can't say I'm going to be able to give you one because... Uh, of course, when I bought my camera, these cables came with it, but I'll show you what you can probably pick up. Most likely, you can get it off of eBay, okay? So anyway, um, the camera, like I said, the back, the viewing screen, screen here, the little glass part here, whatever, ha does have scratch marks on it, okay? I know you can't see it, but let's see if I could get another picture back here. We'll show you what I'm talking about. That's a close-up. It's a Carl Zeiss lens, of course. I just want to use that. Uh, you can see it's pretty clean, you know, considering, you know. Uh, my When I bought my camera, I bought mine back in 2002 or three, I believe. So you got to figure this camera's got some age to it, but still takes nice pictures. Uh, my camera still takes nice pictures. I have no problem with it. Got to learn how to use the settings still, even believe it or not. Uh, I'm not a professional photographer, but I do love this camera. It does have a little scuff marks on it, on the body itself. Um, Here's what I was talking about, folks. Now, this is not a shadow here, okay? I don't want you to think this is a shadow. This here is the actual scuff marks, but when you look at it, it's not that bad. When you turn the screen on, uh, it's not that bad, 
Okay, I know it looks bad in the picture, but you know it, it's not as bad as you think. You you and listen, I offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you get this camera, you take photos with it. You're gonna have to guess that you're gonna have to pick up a few things with it. You take photos with it. You're not happy with it. You don't like the way it works. Send it back. Everything I send you with it, please send it back. You know, if I send it with you, with well, you're gonna get the uh, strap, the camera strap with it. You know, the AC power adapter that comes with it, and the battery. Everything I send to you, you know, send you with, please send it back to me. I don't mind. Like I said, you know, you may not be happy with the camera, but somebody else may want to, you know, you may be happy with it. So please just send everything I send to you, send it back to me the same way. But anyway, getting back with this here, you can see around here, there is a little scuff marks on here. Um, let's see something over here. Okay, that's the bottom of it. This is where you'd put your battery in here. It's a lithium battery. I did charge the battery up. It seems like it is holding a charge, although that's that's another shot that's where you put the lithium battery in and that's this slot here is where you put your um that's where the memory card goes okay here's your reset button here hopefully you don't have to reset it you, know, you could if you want but uh, i haven't reset mine in a long time i don't really need it there's a need for me to reset it but it's there to know okay so let's see what we got now here here okay here's the thing i want to talk about you can see a good shot of me right here now you see here folks this is the part i was talking about but you could still see i mean if it bothers you I understand. I can understand. You say, well, I, I can't deal with that there. I don't know if you took it to a camera company, if they could buff out these things here or not, or just replace the glass. But to me, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, I, would I like that? Would I like to be have a better, per you know, be perfect? Of course. Nobody. Who, who wouldn't? But that's what it looks like. Okay. But you can see it powers on. Here's the battery indicator up here. Okay. The lens might have to be a little cleaned over here. I tried cleaning it. I guess I didn't clean it that good. Um, but that's what you got going on. That's how it looks. And as you can see different shades of uh, with the lighting. It, you know, intensifies when you're taking the picture with the uh, flash on versus the flash off. And now mind you, this picture that you see here of this camera, I'm taking with the same exact one that's being displayed here. Okay, and I'm going to show you my camera in a second. <laughs> okay, so you can see here the scuff mark, but you can see it doesn't really affect the viewing here. But you know, some people, you know, if you're fussy and you say, well, no, it's got to be perfect, then, then it's a different story. Now, the body does have some, uh, you know, uh, scuff marks on it and some wear over here. You can see I tried cleaning it there. I thought it was like a dirt uh, on there, but it's not really not that I can see here. I tried cleaning it. Uh, I don't want to put any abrasives on it because you take the finish off. It is a matte finish as it is. So if you use any abrasive, you might take off the fin finish here and you might make it a lot worse. Uh, you see the green lights on. That means the power is on. That's why the lens has, uh, has come out here as it, you know, expanded. Okay. It telescope that came out um, it's it's a very good camera I like it I love mine I had it for like I said since 2002 2003 never gave me any problems um, you know I, I, I do love the camera I plan to hold on to as long as I can and uh, unless unless my computer that ha it has the built-in memory card for it a uh, reader uh, thank God the HP had it so when I take it out I just pop it in there and uh, it reads the pictures you know they, they just copies the picture downloads them right onto uh, Sony place placed uh, play memories I think it is and you can get that too <clears throat> off of Sony's website it's for free okay so let's move along here now if you see different shades because once with the flash on one's off and I did that for a reason folks I want you to see it in both you know I don't want to cover up anything here I'm not trying to cover up or mask any problems because first off you know, if people do that there, when it goes to the buyer, they're going to end up looking at it. They're going to see it, and they're going to say, hey, listen, you know, this guy tried to mask it out the problem, you know, by, you know, with the camera, you know, the way he takes pictures. So I did it here. Like, now here you can see the actual body itself, okay? This is without the flash, okay? This is just natural daylight. You can see it's got wear over here, all right? You can see that. Not high in it, okay? Here's with the flash. Now, you see... This is why I like to take a picture in a natural with the natural light because now you don't see this here, okay? Now you're looking and say, hey, it looks pretty good, but now let's look, okay? The flash can mask a lot of problems, and I am not one to mask any problems. I'm an honest seller, and I tell it like it is. If the, if the, even, even if the camera, even if I took this picture and it looked like it masked the problems, you know, it masked up the stuff that made it, made it look nice, I would still tell you... <clears throat> This camera does have wear around the edges and stuff like that. I would definitely point it out to you. That's why I, took, I did the both photos like that. Um, I want you to see because with photos, folks, if you're taking pictures with the flash on and the flash off, it does make a difference. Okay? One more time. Look. Look at all this is covered up. Okay? 
That's why I like to take the pictures with natural light because you're actually seeing what the camera looks like, okay? And remember, this is with no flash, this is with the flash. See how it covers up? Everything like almost disappears. Hey right, guys, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry I had a little interruption back there before. Um, yeah, so as you can see, with the flash and without the flash, as I was saying, um, it does, with, without, with the flash, it does cover up and it masks some of the problems there, okay? So now you can see what I'm referring to as far as that part goes. Uh, let's click along here and see what else we got going on here. Again, take notice um, over here. All right, again, now, now, now with the natural flash, I mean with the natural light, it covers up certain masks, certain things. So now we look over here, you can see some marks over here. So, you know, it's funny when you're, when you're using a camera with flash versus without the flash, one will mask it and cover up the problems. Another one, when it's natural, it shows it, you know, in its natural state, but at the same time, it, it too can also cover up things. But without further ado, let's continue on with the photos. Okay, as you can see here, now this is with the flash because at one point we had overcast before earlier. It was a little, you know, getting into uh, rain and clouds and stuff like that. So I had to use the flash on here too and lighten a little. So it would have been too, too dark. Now, you can see around here, folks. See around here? There is wear. There is wear around here. See it? Right here. Okay. So keep that in mind. The body does have minor wear from the previous owner. Okay. And I'm going to show you the difference between a person who takes care of their cameras as opposed to somebody who, who gets a camera like this and uh, just neglects it. Um, <clears throat> for what it's worth, uh, when I bought my camera back, I think, in two, like I said, 2002, 2003, I paid over $500 for this camera, the same one you see here. And I'm going to show you my camera, like I said, shortly. Okay. Um, I don't know how people could let things like this go like this, get, you know, get scratched and scuffed like that, or a window like, you know, like the glass back here gets scuffed. I don't know how, uh, it's an expensive camera. I don't know how people could just take a $500 camera and just like let it get damaged or scratched like that. It's beyond me, but that's the way it goes. That's like I said, that's not mine. You know, uh, needless to say, they don't have the uh, lens cap, you know, that's, that's not that's missing. So I took different shots here anyway of the uh, camera to show you different angles of it. Now, this here, looking at the camera right here, uh, I could tell you right offhand, this is not a scratch here or a blemish. This is a reflection from the uh, flash, okay, from here to here. You can see it's perpendicular with that. I'm looking at the camera right now, <clears throat> and you can see there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with that part, okay? That's the way the flash was. All right, so I just want you to know that that is not a flaw, okay? I'm looking at it right in person, it's not. And believe me, like I always say, folks, I'm an honest seller. If it was, I would you'd be the first to know about it, okay? That's just the way the flash was. This one here, you can see the pictures brightened up. That's because I used the flash there. Now, let's see here, okay. I guess that's where it ends, okay? I thought I took more pictures for some reason, okay? So, uh, yeah, now you see it over here? You can see it over here, that, that little light, that light before, that little thing that looked like a blemish, it's gone. It's the way it was shot with the camera, with my camera, okay? You can see it's gone, it's not there, all right? Yeah, over here too, you can see the same thing, it's not there. It's just the way it was when I shot with the flash, I did it, I think that was one head on. I had the flash on it and it reflected it from here. That's why you're seeing it perpendicular with this, okay? Okay. So you can see, you get a better close up here, folks, and see what I'm referring to, okay? This is what you got going on, but like I said again, if you buy the camera and you try it and you know you, you say it's not for you send it back you know the way I sent you send it back with everything the battery and you know, the thing the uh, strap the strap is okay it's um it's pretty worn a little here can't really see it that good again the pictures you know, cover up a lot of things but you can see it's worn it's been cleaned uh, I had wa I had washed it you know made sure I, I use a fabric cleaner on it to clean it up so it's nice and nice and clean for you okay all right, so it looks good in the it looks good in the video, but trust me, looking at it in person, close up, if I could do that there, you'll see. You can see it now. It, it's not. It, it's got fades on it. Okay, you can see it. There you go. All right. So you know what you're getting. That's why I said. You know, I'm not like I said. I am not. Try, I don't try to cover up anything. I'm not out to make a sale by masking things and stuff like that believe me you have my word on that day i am not I'm not one of those type of sellers trust me i'm not speaking for the others i'm speaking for myself i can't speak for the other sellers this is with the with the power off you can see the green lights off it, the lens retracted back in okay i wish i had a i wish i had a lens cap to give you i don't have it all right 
but uh, that's what you got going on and like I said the body does have some scuff marks on it especially the glass piece here um, has it top is not too too bad but again in the other picture you've seen along this area here it did have scuff marks this is a built-in mic believe it or not this does MPEG now I gotta say one thing the MPEG unless I don't know how to set it on my camera I'm not too familiar with this here, but it's small it's small it's really small um, I don't know what format you would use that in you would have to play around I don't have the manual but I'm going to show you where you can get the manuals for this too folks um, when you enlarge it like the size I've got now it's all distorted okay so keep that in mind this camera is not like your new conventional cameras today like the new Sony's I like Sony's if I'm gonna buy if I am gonna upgrade to a Sony it's gonna be a new a new upgraded Sony one you know Karen I'm not gonna buy a different brand I don't like other the other ones out there no offense I just had I always had Sony cameras and uh, I I will always buy a Sony camera but they're not like the new ones today where you can do digital HD digital video and stuff like that so just keep that in mind this camera is not if you're looking for that type of camera then this is not the one for you folks I can tell you right to boot you'll be wasting your time because if you get it even though you see over here that little indicator there that means video it is not what you think it's unless I'm doing the settings wrong could be I'm not a pro, I'm not a professional on this here I don't know how to use uh, you know like I said even though it looks like a basic simple camera you know you could take pictures and if you don't have the proper settings you know even on a brand new even on a, a very professional camera if you don't have the proper settings on it you can make the pictures look like garbage so it doesn't matter how expensive a camera is versus a cheaper camera if you don't know how to set the settings on there the picture is gonna come out like garbage so just keep that in mind okay now this is what we got like I said that's the Carl Zeiss lens that's how it looks and this is what you get now see how nice it looks all with the with the video with the video with the uh, flash on it makes everything look nice right so just keep that in mind and you can see here with the Sony strap it is faded okay but I did wash it and got the color a little more brighter blue okay and this is what now here's the thing I was like what you're seeing in this picture here is what you're getting these four items okay that's what you're getting all right well if you count the cord it's separate but it goes with this it's five but you're getting the what you see in this picture is what you're getting now really quick I don't want to get too much up oh, that's the other item I'm selling okay now I don't want to get too quick on it but let me just show you really quick I'm gonna make the I'm gonna you know split screen here I'm gonna make the window bigger this is my camera okay this is the same one like that there all right and uh, I'm gonna do a quick demo on, on, on that camera but this is what I got um, I bought the Sony Cybershot boy with the leather case and everything this is how the camera should look if it's well taken care of <laughs> um, this camera is mine <clears throat> and there ain't no scratches on it okay that's the way it looks that's the the uh, cap here you got all right that's the cap all right my back I saw my finger marks on it it's it's not it's like perfect there's nothing in there that's my hand marks on it okay this and the reason why it's like this you can still see you got all the original labels on it the reason why it's like this folks is because it's my camera I took care of it and if this ever goes up for auction which I doubt it's ever gonna go up for auction um, it'll be in perfect condition okay there ain't no scratches chips dents or anything on it because it's mine but that's what I'm saying what the pictures you just seen uh, what I'm showing you is what was taken with this camera love the camera made well it's got some nice weight to it it feels solid it's got a nice solid body it's not like a, a chinsky plastic one it's me I, I think i'm not sure the frame seems metal it feels cold to the touch it could be wrong but it feels like metal when they made this back in the day they made a good camera and you know when i put it in my bag in the camera bag i always do this here like this too i always put this over it just to cover up the lens and the thing back here because I, I, you know when it goes in a bag i'm always afraid that the claw even though it's cloth in there like a velvety cloth I'm always afraid it's going to scratch that plastic, I mean uh, the glass. So I put it in my bag like this, and that's how I take care of my stuff, and I wrap it in here, and I keep it in my case, okay? Now, unfortunately, I can't, like I said, I can't <laughs> give you the memory stick. This is what you're going to need for this camera, and again, this is not included, okay? So just keep that in mind if you see the video. And uh, I don't want you to tell me later on you mess with me. Where's that memory stick? I didn't get a memory stick. How am I going to take pictures? You, you're responsible to buy the memory stick. Okay, that's what you get right there. Okay, it's a Sony memory stick. There you go. That's it. This is eight megabytes. They come a little higher than that too. Okay, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to take pictures with this camera. I'm going to take pictures with this camera. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to take a picture, and then I'm going to take the memory stick out, load it up on the camera, and show you the picture it takes. Okay. So let's start now. What you do is first we've got to put the battery in there. Okay. This is where the battery goes. The battery compartment. Okay. And this is what you are getting. Okay. And it could only go in. Well, it looks. It's even though it's got the same shape in there. Of course, the connectors always go to the bottom. So you put it in like this, and it's got the arrow point in there. You put it in like this, push, and you'll hear a little snap. Well, a little lock in there. It's a little locking mechanism. Then you would put the memory stick in there. Okay, it goes in the same slot. Well, not in the same slot, in the same area where the uh, camera, where the battery is. You push in, it locks in. And close it, you lock it in like that. You power it on, this switch. You see the green light is on, it's got juice. Okay, the lens will retract. That's a normal function, folks. Now, when it always starts up, you always get that window. Well, not always got this. You, the only time that comes on like that is because the, it's not set. That's your uh, your clock set. Okay. Now, to avoid that, there, if you're not ready to set it, it's easy enough to set. I mean, it, you know, again, this is not rocket science as far as that part. And you would after you you scroll it down there, you click it. Now you're in camera mode. Okay. Now you can take a picture. You could set the functions up here for video, uh, automatic, uh, I guess, uh, single shot, manual, automatic, and then you got over here, then you got other functions here, your uh, AE locks over here, see? Okay, you got your AE lock, and you got some other little buttons on top, over here, I mean on the side, this is your view, this is your, you know, to uh, focus in and out, you know, telescopic in and out, all right? Again, that's the bottom of it, side, and that's your that's the speaker up there like I said earlier okay and this is your selector uh, key here knob and that's your power on and off right there and that's your picture taking I'm just gonna take a picture of a portrait I have over here a painting okay I'm gonna take two and I'm going to um, then I'm gonna take out the memory stick I'm gonna pop it in my computer and then you're gonna see the picture it takes okay I want to make sure I got the flash on. Okay, I got the flash on because it is, even though in here it's got the auto stuff like that, it does get dark in here. It's not the greatest lighting right now, even though it looks bright in the background. It's uh, going on 745 right now, East Coast time. So uh, the battery still seems to be holding a charge. Um, yeah, it still seems to be holding a charge. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, let's see what I got here now because I know there's a lot of settings on this thing. I don't know if I have the same settings on all of it, but we'll try here what I got here. Okay, all right. I'm going to take a picture, two pictures, so, so you, I, I'll show you, you know, what it's all about. So I'm going to take a picture of this one here. Uh, let me show you the flash here. There we go. All right, and I'm going to take another one over there. Okay, so one more over here. I'll take a, I'll take a three one. Let's see. Okay, all right. Now. I took the pictures, and if you want to review them, uh, you're like that. That's how it looks. Oh, you see, geez, that glare really screws everything up. You can't see what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, guys. I really apologize. There, it looks something like that. It, it's gonna look better. I'll show you. I'll show you, on, you know, when I enlarge it. Okay. I'm sorry. You can't see because the glare from here, the video, you know, the webcam. Anyway, I'm gonna power it off, and always make sure you power it off before you take anything out, of course. And I'm going to show you, this is live. This is not no smoke and mirrors here. Okay? I'm going to take it out of here. You push in, and you take it out like this. Always close the cover. You don't want no dust to go in there. And we'll lay that down gently. I'm going to pop this in the computer. You're going to hear an audible sound. That means it's connected. Okay, let me split screen here. And it should go on Play Memories. Now, I'm going to move over here because I want to get the Play Memories one here. Now, Play Memories, folks, you could download it for free. Now, I just got to find it. <laughs> As you can see, I got a lot of stuff on here. Um, give me one second. I'm going to close myself out here for a second here. All right. I'm looking over here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to find that. Play Oh, here it is right here. Okay. Now let me back. Let me get back again. Okay. It's right in front of me. Okay. This is Play Memories. You can get this here for free. Let me move this over here. Okay. Now I'm going to plug. I'm going to put this into my computer, and you're going to see the pitch I just took. Okay. That sound you just heard, folks. Okay. 
you're going to get a memo over here like this here connected you want to see the option for the camera of course you hit that you're going to get another window here it says import media folders uh, picture, yeah right media uh, files i'm sorry you click import okay now remember this was just taken with this camera with this camera right here okay the first one came out dark because I don't know I think I had a setting wrong you gotta you gotta play around with the folks you gotta learn how to use this thing that's why I took three pictures yeah for, uh, after I made an adjustment on there it came out like this. this is the picture the first one it came out I guess autofocus whatever the, uh, it's something I have set in here but you could see the picture is nice and clear considering okay this is another one I took now that came out blurry I think it's because I was moving my hands there but let's go back to this one all right there it is now this one here okay that other one came out blurry now normally it's not like that folks it's I think it's because the way I had that focus you know the way I had it set up uh, but this is how it looked well not this one but you can see that's that's what I don't know what the what the mode it was on there I didn't have a lock on here I don't think um, order exposure lock but this is how it looks after it got if I did make the adjustment and you can see it's the clarity is nice look how clear the picture is okay you can see it now you could there's a setting in here to intensify the flash high medium and low okay I think I have high you have to go in there and play around with it folks you get the camera you'll play around with it and you'll you know you'll learn how to use it like I did mine uh, I don't I'm not playing around with the settings right now because again this camera is going on for sale uh, but anyway, you could see it takes nice pictures. That other one there, the blurry one, that and that's what I was telling you about, folks. It's not the camera. It's the guy behind the camera taking the pictures, okay? Now, you've seen it was done live, okay? I don't have the memory stick in here. I don't have it in here. The memory stick is out. It goes right over here. It's out. It's in the computer, okay? Now, this is a live photo. This is a live video. I'm not, it's not like I always say, this is not smoke and mirrors. This this here, this picture, blurry one you see, is not the uh, camera's fault, okay? And um, I could prove it, I could take another picture with it, like I said, but it doesn't make a difference. It's not the camera's fault, it's me. I didn't have the setting, because you can see when I had it first setting on here, it came out like this. That's my fault, because I guess I didn't have that right setting on there, or maybe the autofocus wasn't auto exposure. But you can see it, it came out in the third one, how nice it looks. But again, it's not the it's not the camera's fault. Okay, so don't think, oh my God, the camera is something wrong with it. It's not the camera, it's me. <laughs> I go through this. Listen, I go through the same thing with my camera. I can't tell you how many times I've taken pictures where the camera turned out to be blurry. Yeah, you know, the picture came out blurry. It's like, what happened? And then I had the um, what do you call it there? The uh, oh my gosh, when you're doing the close-ups, you know, when you do the close, I can't. You know, I'm having a brain freeze here. You know when you're doing you're doing focal you know you're doing close up those close up shots I can't remove hand anyway that's what happened and uh, I had that setting on there okay so anyway now you heard that audible sound that's the memory stick okay so here's again just a recap you're gonna need one of these to make it work okay then you're gonna need one and you can get these probably eBay it's a Sony memory stick again I'll put the information in there uh, you know the model number and stuff like that you can look it up if you're gonna buy this camera and for some people who don't know about if you do want manuals and stuff like that, um, I'm going to show you when you go on the website here. All right. Oh, I keep getting uh, bumped out of here. Uh, I'm going to open another window here. I know I've got a lot of windows open up there. Uh, you would do is you would go over here to a Google search and you type in Sony DSC S75. Uh, you know what? I usually do just type in a support like that and you click it on. And you'll get the uh, right over here. You, you go to the first one. Okay, now here's drivers and software. You can get the drivers and software too for this here. Um, I, I, did I get one? I think I did get with it. Okay, but you can go to this one right here if you want. And when you click it open, you're going to see it's going to say select. But here's the one. Here's the thing. This software, this camera will only work at the highest, I think, was the 98. Okay, but mine still works in regards to uh, taking photos. Now let me go to the other one. This ain't the one I want to see here. Let me see something here. It usually has a picture of the camera. That's the one I know. There you go. Yeah, okay. This is the one. And it, it's simple enough. You go to uh, HTTPS, uh, eSupport.Sony, right? You can see it up here. And you put the model, whatever, home, DSC S75. You'll come up to this here. That's the camera, right? You get the drivers and the software. And now let's say your person says, I want a manual. I want to read up on this thing. Today, a lot of companies are doing PDFs, okay? They're trying to save paper. 
Uh, if you see the manual I got, it's not that thick for this book or for this camera. It's like really, it's like, I made pages, but it, I mean, it's thick, but it's small, but it's, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's why a lot of companies today are trying to get away from it. You click on manual specs and warranty, okay, which is not in warranty. And you would look over here, it'll give you all the information, okay, how to take baby, great baby photos, birthdays, so on and so forth. What you want to get, now if I can get to it here, is um, actual manual. Let's see here. Now, these are manuals. I got different ones. I wanted to get the, uh, I think it's the operating instruction. This is the one I was referring to. But they have other ones. And they're all going to be in PDF. Now, this is the manual I got, okay? Um, I can't print it out for you because it's 104 pages, okay? Now, if you got a nice laser printer and you want to break it in, you can print this out at 104 pages. They'll be on 8.5 by 11, I think. Well, you could probably shrink it down, superimpose it to make it smaller. This is the camera. This is the uh, manual. The same exact one I have. And what you would do is, I got to scroll down because that there, it gives you all this information like this, how to take pictures, it talks a little about it, it'll tell you at the, ta at the table of contents, recording, playback. Again, remember folks, with the video, it is not top of the line, okay? Uh, and, that's, and over here, let me show you this here where I got the thing here. This is where you would put your um, connector, you know, if you're going to connect that cable, it goes right over here, okay? And I think this one here is for... I'm not sure that's like an audio thing. I guess I'm not sure. You have to read again. You got to read up on it there. Um, let's see. I'll tell you right here. I got. I can look at it right now. Uh, AV output jack. That's that for that one there. And the number 13 is the USB jack. It goes in there. Would plug into here, and then the USB cord would plug into you. But you need a special cable for that. I don't. I have it for my camera. I can't give it to you, folks. I'm sorry. Okay. So one's the AV or the out, output jack is the yellow. That's your USB. Okay. And again, it breaks it down. Uh, the number of, well, where is the speaker over here? Now? Okay, now it's showing you over here, on this one here, on number 11, this is the speaker. So on top, let's see, the top, it should tell you what the top is over there, number seven, uh, let me scroll down, built-in microphone. Okay, so that's what it is, that's the built-in microphone. But again, it, you play around with it, and you tell me, if you, if you guys, whoever buys this, and you get it to perfect, you perfect it and stuff like that where you can get the, the video to work on it, please let me know. I'm curious to know myself. Okay, so you, and you also have an accessory shoe where you could put, a, I guess if you want to put a mic on there, uh, one of those boom mics, you could put that on there, I believe with the hot shoe, accessory shoe. Also, if you want an additional flash, now you have a built-in flash, but I guess they have different types of flash you could put on there now too. Okay, but you could see, looking at this here, it gives you all the information that you need. This, this uh, viewfinder too, has a little button over here, okay, the viewfinder. It goes in and out, it focuses in and out. So again, it's got a lot of little features, not like the conventional ones today they got where it's got a lot, a lot of bells and whistles. But back in its time, this camera, had, it, 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 did, it served its purpose and it's really, it's still serving its purpose today for me anyway, okay. Again, you can look up there. Now, if you don't want to print that, you could even, now you probably could get uh, the manual, you could probably get it on eBay if someone's selling it, okay. Um, that's what you got going on. The battery, I was selling this separate, folks. I was selling this separate. You know what I said? Let me throw this in. Let me make the packaging a little easier for the person. Because if you say, geez, I got a camera. I bought the memory stick. I can't charge it up. How am I going to use it? It's useless. It is useless without this. You can't charge it. You can't charge it. You can't take pictures. Okay? So that's why I said this one I came across. I said, you know what? I had it up for sale. I was going to sell it separately. I said, wait a minute. Then I picked the camera and said, no. I said, I'm going to sell it as a package, at least this part, where they're going to at least get the AC power adapter. And they're going to at least you get a starter. You get this. Yeah, I don't have a camera case to give you. I'll give you one. You get this. What goes with it. This is the original one that goes with it anyway. You know, that's when I bought mine with it. And you're going to get the camera itself. The only thing you need to buy, folks, for this for this camera. I just, matter of fact, I don't know if I told you guys really quick. I just sold my camera. I sold it with the digital, same exact one like this, but it had the it had the uh, no it had the uh, lens cap on it, and I was able to sell it with the bag, uh, with the digital printer. Okay, was, they got a complete package minus this. Okay, I I, I can't give you this. It's you know I I got this with my camera, so you know I can't I need this here. You know when I if I run out of memory on my my other memory stick, I got this one as a backup, or else I would uh, get this. But you know even though. You, you paid back in the day. Paid a lot of money for this little thing, believe it or not. But anyway, so here's my here's my question, or what I want them to just state to you guys: 
you don't have to print the whole mag, the whole booklet here. Let, let's give me an example. I'll just do this. I'll do this really quick if possible. I know this this video is probably getting long and longer. Um, let's say you want you want to do this here using the AC power adapter. I'm just using as an example, and it's pages 13. Well, actually, it's 14 and 15, and let's say it goes through 16. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you go over here. You know what it is, right? It's pages 14 and 15. Let's just do 14 and 15. We'll make it simple for you. You go to print preview. Okay, it's going to take you to another window. You're not printing anything. Now, you could click it over here too if you want to make it a little bigger to read. Okay, um, it says preparing. That's because it's got to read 104 pages. Okay, so what you do is, all right, now you go like this. I'm not going to print it out. And if you hit the print button, don't get nervous. You're not going to print anything out. The only time you actually hit is when you hit the OK button. What you do is you go over here, you comment this out, you go 14. Okay, I'm just saying, let's say, let's say that's all the pictures, that that's all you need, it was just those two pages. You click OK. It will only print out, for these are people who don't know, it'll only print out pages 14 and 15. If you need an array of numbers, like, you know, array of pages, let's say it goes from 15 to 20 or 15 to 30, I'm just using again as an example, we'll do 20. You click that in there. Now it'll print from 14 to 20 uh, pages. Okay, that's how that'll work. You don't have to print out the whole thing. If you want, if you're a person that you know you really want to have this something like that, but it's going to be on eight and a half by eleven paper unless you format it and then cut the paper. And I don't know how you're going to do that there. You staple or whatever, because the booklet comes out about the eight thick, about that thick. Okay, so you might want to think about that or. The best bet is is go to eBay and see if they have this for sale. You know, or maybe you can get the book from somebody. This memory stick, go to eBay to get it. Pick it up on eBay. This is only eight megabytes. Get yourself a heavy, a big, heavy duty one. I got, I think, 128 megabytes in there. And believe me, that does that holds about 90 pitches. And it's got two modes, fine and standard. Uh, the most of the pictures I take are usually in a fine mode. That's not thing. I don't know if I even set this up for fine. It might be set up for standard. But even with the standard, if it is set up for standard, it takes nice pictures. Again, you got to play with the folks. Okay. So anyway, that's what we got going on, guys. Um, again, what you would want to do is if you go, if you need a manual, go to their, uh, go to the, you know, Sony support. You can pick it up here or just type and do a Google search. Sony. Uh, digital camera DSC uh, S75 go when you go there right when you go to that window the one after you do a Google search all right let me get back out of here go with this one right here the one that says support and that'll bring you to the one with the picture on it when you see when you click this on after you see what I did over here I did Sony DSC S75 support it brought it here click that one on right and when you click that you'll know you got the right one you got the picture of the little camera here Okay, guys, listen, I hope this helps, these videos help. If you got anything out of it, um, you know, give it a thumbs up. If you like what I do with these videos, please subscribe to my channel. You never know what you're going to come across because I'm going to do the, uh, what do you call it? I'm going to do the reseller news shortly after this. Um, I think that's the last one. I think this is it. Yeah, this is the very last video I had to do as far as demos. So the next one will be the reseller news unless something happens between now and then. Um, you know, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Again, if you think you get anything out of this video, if it helped, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like what I do in general, you know, please come back. I'd love to have you come back. As like I said, you know, even to check out my videos, whether you subscribe or not, and see if you see if you find anything interesting. You know, I, I try to do these videos. The reason why I do these videos, folks, uh, in case you don't know, if this is the first time coming to my YouTube channel. Or in this particular case, the, uh, the eBay listing. I do this for you guys, potential buyers. Um, I go out of my way to make these videos. It takes a little time, you know. I mean, to crop it and cut things out and you know move things around, um, you know. So I, but I, then again, I don't mind doing it. And if it helps you make a determining factor that you got enough information to make you want to buy it, you know, not to make you want to buy it, to make you give you a little insight on on buying it, uh, that's great. If it's helpful to you, that's great. Uh, I want you guys to know that. You know, when you buy something from me, you got a 30-day money-back guarantee. Okay, you don't have to worry. You're not stuck. I seen on some of the uh, some people, some other sellers, they're selling things and they sell it. Uh, they, the seller writes and they're not retain. Does not seller does not take returns. I will. Okay, I offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. A lot of guys do. I'm not saying that that's. I'm not saying that makes me the best. Okay, but when you're buying from me, you can have a peace of mind. I know you don't know me from Adam. <laughs> 
Uh, this is the first time, so uh, you know I want you to feel you know comfortable buying from me. Okay, um, I am not like I said again. I, I'm not. I don't mask anything up. I don't sugarcoat anything. I tell it like it is. If the camera has any flaws on it, you're gonna you're gonna hear it firsthand from me. Okay, and like I said again, uh, it's a good camera. Uh, the only thing like I said, it doesn't have the camera lens. Okay, it does have some minor wear around the around the body of it, and the back. Uh, viewing screen here is but you can see it wasn't too bad you know what if you buy it and you get it in person try it out get your memory stick that's all you're gonna need for this camera folks and if you can come across a lens cap okay if they don't have one I don't know if you can get like an aftermarket one that one that will the one the one I have it's it has like little clips on it clips on okay if not maybe you can just get one that just goes right over it you know what I'm saying like just you know just clamps right over it or whatever you know, you could probably do something like that, maybe an aftermarket one. You do want to definitely protect that lens, okay? Uh, but that's all I can tell you about it, guys. And I will talk to you soon. Uh, this is going to be going up on eBay today. So uh, be on the lookout. I don't have a price point. Um, I've been offering a lot of best offers. Well, you know, I have my, my new template there. I made up another template. Best offers, welcome. So please make a best offer. Please don't make one for $5. If I'm putting this in for $30, $40, whatever, please don't tell me $5, okay? Um, the, the AC adapter alone is a nice dollar. So that's why I said I got to, you know, and, and you can't, I have, to, I have to pair it in with it. It's got to be matched. It's got to be a pair. I can't just sell it separate. So people say, well, can you sell it separate to me? Maybe it will be cheaper. I'm selling as a package. So I'm not going to sell separate, you know, I'm not going to sell these things separate. I'm going to sell it, what you see is what you're getting, the four items you're getting. If you count the cord, this part here, it all goes together. It's four items, you know, it, it just all good together. But, uh, yeah, and please don't make don't make ridiculous offers, okay? Because not, and I'm not saying this to be mean, guys. If I get offers like that for $5 or $10, I'm just going to decline it. And you'll be wasting your time, you know. So please, you know, be fair. Um, you know, I don't mind going down a few bucks here and there, but I mean, I don't, don't, I don't want to like give it away. Like, you know, I don't want, I don't want <laughs> people think they're stealing from me, you know. I, I try to do the right thing, okay. And I hope by me doing the right thing, you guys will do the right thing by me as well. And for the repeat, repeat customers and buyers that have been buying from me, uh, thank you very much. I, I, I wish you all the best and I hope everything works out for you guys. I hope you like the stuff I, I uh, sell you guys. Um, I, I try to get good stuff. Sometimes it doesn't always work the way I plan it. But uh, for the most part, I try to get good stuff to put up there on eBay. And, um, you know, I hope you guys are uh, pleased with it, you know. And, and, and the way you could show that is by leaving me a positive feedback, you know. That'd be great. That helps out, too. And it gives, you know, it gives the buyers, the other buyers, the potential buyers, uh, a heads up as, for, as far as, like, what kind of service I'm offering out there. So, um, you know, that would help, too, you know. Uh, but thank you very much, guys. I'm sorry I'm rambling on, taking quite a bit of time over here. Uh, I try to be thorough with these videos and, uh, you know, show you guys what I'm doing and, and give you a little insight to help you out. Thanks again. I will see you in the next video. You take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.